Hey everyone, this is an item type to binary encoder. What it does is you give it a box and it gives you a binary code that you've assigned to that item type. This particular one is set up for 10 bits, which is just over a thousand items, but you can expand it or shrink it depending on your needs. The way that we assign the codes is we've got a bunch of chests here, and each chest has a different combination of bits assigned to it, and if you put an item in that chest, you're basically adding those bits to the code. To actually read the chests, we've got this hopper minecart here with all of the slots blocked except the first one. This will work like a filter, so it'll go under the box with the items that we want to encode, and then it'll go under the chests and scan all of them for that specific item. When it finds it, it'll take one item out of the chest, which will drop the signal strength to 1, and that is detected and adds the relevant bits to the code. None of this is really new in any public encoders. The new stuff is mainly safety features. We've got this chest here that doesn't encode anything, but in the event that someone on your server has just had a lobotomy and decides to fire the cart manually, it'll stop it from scrambling the entire encoder because it'll just block the slot and cause the encoder to shut down. The encoder also won't run if the chests aren't all reset, so we've got a few checks just to make sure that if it does break due to an unload, it's not gonna keep breaking and it will shut down as soon as it detects that it's broken. Um, the encoder also has some protection against stackable items, so you're meant to only put boxes in, but if somehow a loose item makes it in there, like a piece of TNT, you don't want that getting dispensed, so it stays in there because it only gives single strength one. However, this kind of doesn't really help if you put a box in after, because it's going to dispense anyway, so only put boxes in here. When it comes to actually transmitting and saving the codes, um, you've got a few options. So serial transmission is good. You can just transmit all the bits down the same rail line, four game ticks after each other. Or if you're feeling like a gamer, you can um, use this device that um, it saves the codes in a shulker box using different unstackable items to represent one and zero. It's very cool. Right, thank you for watching. That's about it for this video. I want to thank Optic Nerve and Palapala for their previous work on item encoding, and I want to thank Datnerd for explaining bit grouping in S Storage Tech Discord. If you want to use this, or check it out, or whatever, blow it up, you're welcome to do that. There is a schematic and well downloaded in the description. Um, see ya.